Most of you already know our next judge. He literally wrote the book on steampunk and is considered to be the original mad scientist of steampunk. Say hello to Thomas Williford. Hello, makers. It's leather and sheet brass. Oh my um, and this was a grease gun from Model T Ford that on the is arm. Beautiful. Thank you. Are you Tom? Yes, I am. I'm kind of drawn to this pump here. Oh, yeah. This is a 1930s dental pump. We are steampunks. Welcome to Grimoire Manor. I'm Thomas Williford. And I'm Sarah Hunter. And we make fine art and mad science. Come on in. Mm -hmm. People love to go and just poke at the collection and occasionally they have to say, uh, don't put that down. <laughs> I made a 15 foot tall, 1,000 pound robot. This giant robot is going to New Jersey for the Steampunk World's Fair. That thing was way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Hello! Where are we? Victorian London. When are we? 1892. What is this place? Gasland League, a private steampunk society. Hey, Dad. That looks like a country kitchen. As when you look at the corset, she looks cylindrical. I kind of like rivets. Repurposed belts to make a harness. I put that in a book. I love this idea. <laughs> it was like a hot glue Gatling gun. It was yeah. a competition about making stuff. It's not a popularity contest. Right. If it were a popularity contest, then Morgan wouldn't be there. Miss Should never wear clothing that's attacking you. There. Yeah. I feel he put his heart into this room, but there's a small heart attack, which is that fan that of death. <laughs> It's a baby death trap? It's a baby <laughs> death trap. I mean, I couldn't believe it. My baby kicked as soon as it <laughs> Go forth, make incredible things.